Hey everybody, I'm Jerry, the Locomotives Photographer. Wanted to take you through how we photograph some of the vehicles. Behind me, we've got the silver colored racer. We've done the racer now, I think in four colors and more to come probably, but um, I'm gonna be photographing this today and just wanted to kind of take you through some of the uh, things that I, some of the tools that I use and some of the techniques that I use to photograph some of the awesome vehicles that we have. So um, I guess to start out, with, I won't get too uh, detailed on the on the uh, tools, but um, I sh happen to shoot with a Canon 5D Mark III uh, because it's got a large megapixel count. I can crop down if I need to. I tend to shoot kind of wide so that we can crop photos if we need to for brochures and for literature and stuff. Um, and uh, back behind me, uh, I usually will use at least one off-camera light triggered wirelessly. This happens to be an Alien B1600. Has plenty of power to match the, the sun out here. It's about three o'clock, so it's really bright sun out here. Uh, so I've got this cranked up almost to full power to match the brightness of the sun and to light the shadowed side of this motorcycle. So if uh, you wanna come around this side, I can show you kind of what I'm looking at looking at maybe you can just kind of look over my shoulder as I shoot at this uh, I guess one of the other really important things on shooting vehicles is you probably spend about half of your time cleaning the vehicle you know just getting all those little details um, you got to be really detail oriented and get all the every single speck of dust because it's hard uh, it's harder in post photoshopping that stuff out than it is just getting it nice and clean while you're shooting so um, I've got the, the motorcycle all cleaned up and so now we're going to get started shooting. Right now I'm shooting wide angle so that we can uh, use, we've got lots of space around here. This is out right behind our factory. We've got kind of a, a mud flat sort of uh, looking thing here with the cracked mud. It's kind of a really cool backdrop. A lot of times I like to juxtapose kind of the, the, uh, the awesome stylings of the vehicle or the product that we're trying to sell against a stark background like this because it just sets it off really cool. So I'm gonna include um, a lot of the cracked mud in the photo, in this wide angle photo so that we can use it for maybe putting words over around the edges. So uh, I'll take a photo and then we can just compose, I'll show you what the photo looks like after we take it here. So one of the things that I often get asked is, how can I make my vehicle look really awesome if I'm listing it on Craigslist or in one of the in a publication? If you want to take pictures of your vehicle and make them look really, really good, uh, one of the tips that I will tell people is to shoot with a wide-angle lens um, and get up really close and use off-camera lighting like the one over my shoulder to light down on the on the vehicle. And uh, this gets a little technical, but if you underexpose the ambient light about a stop or two, and then expose the flash correctly and light against the sun, you get some really dramatic results. And I'll show you what that looks like here. <laughs> 